A deforming force is applied to a sample of material. Which row of the table shows the axes of a graph for which the gradient is stiffness, k? So let's consider f is equal to kx. That's force is equal to stiffness times extension. This is of the form of y is equal to mx, so a straight line through the origin where the gradient is k. So looking at our options, we have, for option b, we have force on the y-axis, length on the x-axis, not extension. So that's not quite the equation that we have here. Looking at option A, we have it reversed. We have extension on the y-axis, force on the x-axis. That wouldn't work because if we were to consider rearranging the equation that we have here to make x the subject, x being equal to 1 over k times f, that will give us a gradient of 1 over k if our y is the extension and if our x is the force. So it's definitely not option A. Let's go back to option B. So for option B, we have force against length. The length of the string is equal to the original length plus the extension. We know that f is equal to kx, so then f is equal to k multiplied by l minus l naught, rearranging the equation that we have over here for x and then subbing that value for x into here. If we multiply that out, we end up with f is equal to kl minus kl naught. So if we were to plot force on the y-axis, length on the x-axis, this equation becomes or is of the form of y is equal to mx plus c, where our gradient is k and our y-intercept is some non-zero value. So actually, plotting force against length would work. That would give us a straight line. The gradient would be stiffness. So it is option B.